man. Put respect on my nigga Wendy, man. I'm done with the slander. I'm done with the slander. Put some respect on Wayne no name, nigga. We gonna make a way no half. We gonna make a way no half. Put respect on my boy, nigga. Put some respect. Respect. Bro, we ain't playing with it no more. We ain't playing with it no more, man. You good ass motherfucker, so you know it shit ain't perfect. Shit, the motherfucker will watch this video, even though it ain't perfect, man. Lighting a bitch, back on a bitch, but we still in this thing. You heard me, man. I'm taking no more slander, man. No more slander, man. Man, I wish I could shake that motherfucker and find who that motherfucker real life is. What's up, what's up? Damn this game. Sorry for the little nonsense, you know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, tell your peoples about the video, you know what I'm saying? Show everybody, you know what I'm saying? When you say, yo, I'm bro in there, man, I'll put it on bro. Well, put bro onto my videos, you hear me? Stop being selfish and holding all the wealth. Share the wealth with your brother, you know what I'm saying? We all in this, man. We're supposed to share the wealth so we have generational wealth. So share this so we have generational entertainment, you hear me? And it was I'm making this thing. This K.A. Baton, the young Don, you know what I'm saying? I sleep with a cutter, El Patrona on a ton, hey. What's up with it? Wayno from I wish he had like a last name. Well Wayno from Everyday Struggle I, I heard of him from Everyday Struggle. Apparently he's been doing this thing. He has some ties to some record labels also. You know, I don't know if he does like artist scouting or ma he manages some people, but like yeah. Anyways. Him basically using the car riding around, you know, talking his ish. And then he broke down the six nine issue. Now six nine will be a topic forever. First of all, he disappeared, man. He dis Congratulations, he's gone off Instagram. He disappeared. Yeah, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't hate dude, but like, yeah, man. Like, I don't want to hear you talk about numbers all day, okay? You can entertain us. I don't really give a fuck about your numbers. Anyways, I am here to say my respect to him, my G. Like, I can't be mad at dude. Dude was speaking facts, man. Wayno is the true voice of the streets. Lil Dirk, move the fuck on out of here. You ain't the voice of shit. I'm joking. I'm joking. But no, we ain't know the voice of this shit, man. While I was watching this little live breaking down the situation, I understood, bro. Facts, you. Man, it's like, I talk about the motherfucker. He's like, yo, I talk for the people trying to get right in life, which facts. That's always going to be an audience that's going to resonate with you. And the thing about Wayno, yeah, he don't gang or whatever the fuck, but since he from that aspect, that club, he talk like me. Or he going to say some shit that a motherfucker like me going to listen to. And this is what I learned in life. Because I remember I'm in school and shit. Business ass motherfucker come in a little suit, whatever, come talk to me. Yeah, I hear him, man, but I don't really give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, get your bullshit out of my way. Face, you know what I'm saying? Like, or a nigga was like, man, you was inside, man. You ain't need to come outside. You ain't step outside like that, man. You just whatever. But when a motherfucker come from your clock, you come out, he's successful, whatever. Come and talk to you and it, it resonate with you differently, man. But I know I seen him, bro. Like, he was out there doing this thing. Yeah, yeah, he was selling. You know what I'm saying? He was selling, doing drugs, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So if he could get like that, I could also, maybe not at that level, but at least be decent. That I ain't got to be in the streets doing all this stuff. Hurting my mama, hurting other people, my family, you know what I'm saying? And that's what the Wayno is. So basically, Wayno was just breaking down 6 9 characters, you know what I'm saying? And in fact, he is a distraction. The fact that he is still away, and rappers be like, yo, where he at? Where he at? He's trash now, he ain't talking about numbers. Where he at? I'm trying to kill him. I'm trying to kill him, you know what I'm saying? He's just trash. It's trash. Like, we letting this nigga, like, not control us, but. We always paying attention to him. I get it. He's in this. Yes. He always going to troll and going to pay attention. Yeah, I get it. Listen. Listen. It might not be my favorite show, but if it's on, I'm going to watch it. Like, if I'm bored or some bullshit happen, I'm going to watch it. Especially because I commentate on rap shit. I'm going to watch it. He won't pull up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to talk about it. You hear me? But anyway, man. Um, uh, This dude is crazy. Yeah, you just breaking down the signs, like. Cause we really here, and again, if you like six nine, that's cool, whatever. I don't really care. I ain't gonna mess with you. He even said that, like I can some day friends. That's whatever. But see, this is the thing about six nine. He tries to make excuses, and I've been saying this. Hold down, you did this shit. I don't give a fuck about your excuses. You was smashing my baby mom, bro. You ain't care. You was with Jade. You ain't care. What the hell you care about? Nothing. 
It was with Jade. Flipping. What's the guy? It doesn't look like you care about your family because you wouldn't be talking all this ish. You put your mama, your grandma's information out in the song. Like, bro, you don't care about your family because you then you would kind of correct the stuff you're making just because you got security. I don't know what the hell they got. You know what I'm saying? Apparently, you got another baby mama. You know what I'm saying? The main baby mama or the one that we know of mostly hates your domains. Like, it's just, bro, too much at this point. What the fuck you doing? You don't really care about your family because you wouldn't be saying some of the shit you do. And this is the thing, right? He's like, I'm not going to die for y'all. But you sitting here, and that's what I hated that was despicable. And even though, like, again, I'm not blaming Ak for anything. The one thing I disliked was him posting, like, oh, 6 9 going to niggas' m memorials and shit. And then later, like a day or two later, yo, F you. And I'm like, bro, Ak, why are you posting? Like, bro, who is Nooski to fucking 6 9 I'm not saying he never listened to the man before. But, like, excuse me? Who the f Like, what? You know what I'm saying? Just to get out of next man. You're dissing the man's dead. Like, bro, it's not cool, my G. You got fucking doing that to thing. Oh, fuck. Nipsey and shit. Like, bro, it's not cool. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them being gangsters or whatever. Fuck that. It's not cool if it's not genuine. Like, what the fuck are you doing? It's different if you really, like, fucked with them. That's cool. But then you, you in the same vein, yo, F Newski, F Newski, yo, on that Newski pack. It's like, bro, like, what? I'm supposed to respect you for that? I'm supposed to think of you as a good dude in person? Now I get it. 6 9 and fucking Daniel Hernandez might be two different people. I personally have not met them. You could ask academics that fucking question. But at the same time, it's like, certain shit he does, you want motherfuckers to see you sympathetic. You want to see motherfuckers to, like, resonate with the situation you is but then you do some issues like do i really feel bad for you and like i always say in every fucking video i talk about this stuff nigga if you was putting money on niggas heads to die i can't fuck with you g i don't give a fuck if he was riding around selling drugs all this shit yeah don't give him years for shit he wasn't there for i agree with that but at the same time like yeah nigga be on that Nigga, and that's what Wino said, like, nigga, you was rolling with them niggas, you know what territory it is. And that's what I fuck with, because I swear little niggas don't understand. Now, again, I'm 22, I ain't the fucking oldest OG. But I had OGs that, bro, if they see me chilling with certain niggas, and they knew the reason, they say, yo, if you like this little nigga, so we'll beat your dumb ass. If we ever see you, so we'll beat your dumb ass, nigga. Go, go to school, do your little thing. Say, go to school, do your little, come, come play basketball, come hoop, whatever the fuck, go do your little thing. I want to see you selling no bag, nothing on the block. P, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have motherfuckers like that that's trying to school you on some shit, because yeah, you got your parents trying to instill knowledge in you, but also your friends or people just around you trying to instill some knowledge in you. They're going to take something that's going to rub off on you. He didn't have that. You over there fucking playing Superman and shit. And yeah, you hear some sad stories like his dad passed away and shit. And say, like, yeah, bro, I feel for you. But then again, bro, you have a daughter, bro. Like, what are you doing? You have shit to live for. You have people you care about and care about you, hopefully. And yet, you're just doing all this nonsense. And we just got to look for you. That's the one thing we know. Say, like, bro, if you're implicated in this shit, you got to know that, nigga, you won't end up in jail and you might not come home doing that. One of the most fire things I heard is from a nigga in Chicago called Encore. He had a song, or he featured on a song. He said, niggas, you and me, I got to eat and I got a family to feed. So I'm going to leave you dead in the streets. It's so simple. We hear this in all this music, and yet niggas are just like, "But well, I wasn't there. I didn't do that. I'm just a kid. I wanted to get on." Oh my god, what? They did that stuff, and that's what I hated about his court case because it's like, he's not a fucking kid. He's like twenty something years old. I get it. He's not. Listen, in your twenties, we stupid. Let's keep it a book. We still figuring shit out. So, so yeah, you still a kid. You know what I'm saying? We still figuring shit out. Still figuring shit out in our 20s. Just keep it up. But we figuring shit out. So we're not fully grown until like maybe our 30s. <laughs> yeah. 20s, we still figuring shit out. We still going. But yeah. To be like, it's just. It just makes no sense. And I understood Wayno's point. It was like, they tried to get the interview off him. He's running around to Gilly, Joe Budden. You know, we seen him on fucking Impulsive. I ain't watch that bullshit. It was hilarious when, when, he, when he did the interview on Billboard and yet they took away your shit. Yo, yeah, it was just fucking hilarious. It was. It was hilarious. 
been around doing all this stuff. I think I seen him on TikTok. He has like a fucking mobile game. Like I'm just like, fuck. This motherfucker doing the most. Doing the most. It is what it is. The funny part is Tory Lanez is kind of blackballed and he did damn near the same sales to you and this motherfucker is independent and you're on a label. It's ridiculous. But anyways, bro, it's just like, it just shows you, bro. Like, just, yo, I respect when you know, talking like, yeah, generational wealth. No, again, that's you if you want to like buy a chain or whatever. Hey, that's your purpose, nigga. That's your money. I ain't pocket watching. Do your thing. But yeah, he's talking about his ish. Like, why are we really going to support this nigga? Like, yo, this nigga should have kids, you know? Do his thing. But yeah, he's sitting here just antagonizing motherfuckers. Because eventually there's going to be a nigga that's going to do it. You locked up people's family members, their brothers, their sisters, their uncles, cousins, whatever. Apparently one nigga will just go to jail, you'll say fuck it, and shoot him dead. You know? And then 6 9 as the person, probably a cool dude. Never met him a day in my life, never spoke with him. Probably a cool ass dude. Funny. He seems funny as fuck. But just the shit you did, my G. It ain't gonna go 100% the way you want it to. And that's why, I, with this music shit, and he flopped, I hope he realized, like, first of all, you can change that if you come harder with the best music of your life, number one. And number two, bro, you gotta understand, that's great. You did that shit. Great. You had your reason. I personally don't care. I feel like you kept and you lying, nigga. You gotta know when you get into some certain shit like hood nigga shit, death in jail, kidnap like nigga. That's how it goes. You can get revenge on them niggas. You can't. You don't have to fuck with them niggas. Cool, but you just always, yo, that's my mom, baby. Yo, they did this. It's all right, my nigga. Why the fuck you keep crying, my G? You out the situation. Continue with your life. God damn. Hell, you talking about G? Fuck. You like, you can't come out be super tough gangster anymore because that persona is dead. You can't come out try to be us feel sorry for you. That persona is dead. You you can't. So just come out and do your thing. You tried it, bro. The album didn't do anything. Let's keep it a buck. It didn't do anything. The people that were supposed to be on the album didn't come on the album. Like, let's keep it a buck, my G. It is what it is. Either make the best music of your life or hey. Hasta la vego. Fucking invest, man. Huh? So some of the, uh, aside for your kid that we know of, and the kid that is, that is said to be yours, and continue on, have a good life. You know, Jade, you got a loyal ass chick, have a fucking good time, right? That's all that, like. shit, Wayno was speaking was facts. I ain't even mad at it, yo, that's why, yo, Wayno is the patron saint of the streets. The patron saint. You pay the same Wayno for protection and guidance. He's the voice. Dirky, you'll get out. But yeah, man, we got we got to give it to Wayno, man. I like, like Wayno, Wayno, no, like yo, the OG. That's why I fuck with Wayno. And that's why sometimes, like, act. You know, I fuck with act. I feel like sometimes he just be going off the. That's my nigga clout. You know, this nigga has a wide ass audience, more than how yo he's perceived to niggas of a Wayno ilk. You know, because those are the niggas also in hip-hop. Yes, this nigga has a fan base of little kids. But you also got to see how this nigga is perceived to these niggas or that nigga. Because it's not even old nigga hate. They just like, I don't like the way this nigga move. This nigga doing too much. And he was, to be on, to be fair with you. You could say what you want. It was lit. It was funny. He was beefing with niggas. That's great. But at some point, he was looking at this nigga. Relax. It's not that serious. Saying suck my dick to everybody, you really think a nigga ain't gonna pop off? I've seen niggas pop off for less. A nigga looked at a nigga the wrong way and popped off for less. So again, it is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. Hey, like I said, man. But hey, I just see it to my little stuff, man. Shout out Wayno, man. Put more respect on his name. Man. Put more respect on his name. Cool ass dude. You know what I'm saying, man, I was combing his beard like a true, true. True New York ass nigga this fit just come to be like that, you know what I'm saying? He's some shit picking up some food out there and swallowed the bait, you know. Had the little ugly face when he was coming tonight. You know what I'm saying? Had the little ugly face with the head like dead ass beat. What's up? What's happening? Someone was, was wearing some butters, you heard me? Was doing all that bullshit. But anyways, I'm back on my bully, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, I'm done. I'm off this thing, man. Slime, zoom, peace, y'all. Ice. Oh, this shit went a little bit long, but whatever, man. Ice.